No matter how you feel about the bitter cold weather, most of us can agree ice sculptures are something to see. For decades, the Plymouth Ice Festival has been bringing people together to enjoy a winter wonderland. Some years it's actually been a little too warm. Brandon Rue finding out that is not the case this year. Mother Nature uh, <laughs> supplies just what they needed out there, Brandon. She got her right, no doubt about it, but you're right. It is so impressive to see the craftsmanship in the ice sculptures here. Not only this one, look at some of the details in, a, in an ice sculpture right over here. Doesn't officially open until 5 p.m. Uh, and after COVID, after some unusually warm early Februarys, we finally got the weather right for this icy festival. It's the 41st annual Plymouth Ice Festival, as family friendly as it gets. We, uh, we I really like the Michigan first. Okay, hey, smile at Grandma. And the big chair here behind us, that was really cool. Ken and Michelle D. Shepard braved the chill coming down from Fowlerville with their grandson, Calvin. Well, it's just a special day to bring him along and show him where Grandma grew up. Little does the little guy know he might not be here if not for the Plymouth Ice Festival. When we were dating, we came here. This is a, a special, a yep. special date that we had when we were dating. 30 eight years ago. Just come in and see us for hot chocolate. Alpine Chocolate House on Main Street in Plymouth, like many local businesses here, banks on the economic boost the festival offers. It brings the people down into downtown Plymouth so they can see all the awesome stores that are here. We have amazing hot chocolate. It's all made with homemade fudge and steamed milk doesn't get better than that. Ice sculptures dot the downtown Plymouth landscape from Kellogg Park to every storefront, which is what the Plymouth Ice Festival is all about. Unique art to draw crowds to a unique downtown. There will also be a petting zoo out here for the ice festival. Ice festival bingo, can't beat that right. Also, some demonstrations on how maybe you could become the next carver of ice. But how do you stay warm? I know Kim mentioned we're warming things up a little bit. They have warming areas, and just behind us at the old Penn Theater, they're showing the Disney movie Frozen, of course, Devin. Uh, so that is one way at seven o'clock each night here <laughs> for five bucks. You can go warm up and see that movie. But there are, of course, plenty of ways to stay warm out here this weekend. Well, there's a fine line here, Brandon. Obviously, you don't want it to be too terribly cold. We need this to be kind of a, a Goldilocks path where we want it just cold enough for the ice, but not so cold that it's not fun to be out there. Four years ago, uh, they had like three, four inches of rain yeah. uh, during the festival. They had to move everything into other areas and it was an absolute nightmare. So you're right. I mean, just a matter of a few degrees makes all the difference as it warms this weekend. It won't get too warm. So the, yeah. the beauty in these ice sculptures will be shining. Bright. It's such a great event and we're in the sweet spot uh, for this year anyway. All right, yeah. Brandon, great stuff.